What's up guys, welcome back. We're gonna do some ice fishing today. It is uh, midday right now. It's minus 10 degrees Celsius. It's the end of January. We're gonna be um, hitting the hard water near Air, Ontario at Wrigley's Corner, which is uh, Bannister Lake. I caught a nice pike here last year. I helped some kids uh, catch another nice pike that same day. Um, so yeah, I hope I'll be uh, frying up some fish for dinner tonight. Wow, things have really changed here since last year. When I came out here to set up the camera, the ice started cracking here just a couple feet to my right here. And uh, yeah, it's just weird. This Normally this is like solid ice. And it's been pretty darn cold. I don't know why this isn't frozen. It's only a few feet deep here, like two or three feet deep. So even if I do go through, it's, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Um, but yeah, let's, let's put a hole in the ice here. And I'm feeling pretty good about catching a nice pipe today. Maybe a couple of nice pipe. Oh yeah, that's a coyote. There he goes, now he's walking across. No pike today though, wow, okay. Yeah, I've been at it for probably an hour and a half. Let's say another 30 minutes and I'm gonna give up. And uh, we're gonna go rabbit hunting tonight. Okay, we're just about at uh, Beverly Swamp. Got some crown land here. It's another location that's uh, close to where I live, Cambridge, Ontario. This is where I do 90% of my hunting. It's my local spot, I know it well. Um, we've got about two hours until dark. And I'm gonna uh, just cruise around, stay on the trails, uh, try to cover some ground, just hope for the best. And I find that uh, the rabbits are, are really active that last like half hour of the day. Um, and so I want to kind of go to uh, to what I think is, is the better, best uh, rabbit spot in here. And um, I've, in a la my previous video or second last video, um, I missed a rabbit in this area uh, twice with the same rabbit in the same spot. Um, so that's the area um, that I'm gonna be uh, making sure I'm at that last half hour of the day. And yeah, we'll just uh, we'll put in the time and see what happens. And hopefully we'll have some wild game to cook up tonight. If not, we'll, uh, we'll keep at it tomorrow.
Nice. My first cottontail. We did that right too, looking around the tracks, the sort of habitat. Went in there, he was hiding in the, in the, in the bush, the fallen bush, brush there. He took a few jumps, he even hesitated for a second and stopped, gave me a perfect shot, boom. Dunzo. All right, well, that's awesome. Throw him in the back of the vest and we'll keep at it. That was, uh, it's pretty quick. We've only been here, what, uh, 15 minutes? According to the, the clock on the camera. Um, yeah, awesome. That's how it's done. Yeah, pumped. It's a beautiful creature. It's gonna taste good. Amen. Welcome back. So last night after I got my rabbit, I pretty much called it quits. I really like the game meat, but I'd rather, um, I'd rather you know, get a rabbit next time rather than get, you know, several rabbits at a time. Um, we're going to be cooking up uh, some of the rabbit that we got yesterday. We're going to be doing a little cookout in the bush. Um, the heart and uh, one of the front legs. Um, and yeah, just going to just gonna enjoy being out in nature and, and breathing the fresh air and getting the exercise. And it should be a good time. So here's some older tracks. You can tell they're just not very fresh. A little light dusting of snow over them. Maybe that's from the wind. Um, and then the way to tell which way the tracks are going is you want to look at which way the, the fallout of the snow is. And that's the direction they're going. Uh, these older tracks, it's hard to tell, but over here, we've got some really fresh tracks. Here we go. And with these really fresh tracks, I can see the fallouts this way. So it was going this way. Sometimes I'll, I'll make a print beside and then compare. Very, very fresh, I, I believe from today. We could see this rabbit traveling this way into the bush there. This is a really nice little sheltered area here to, uh, to make some food, do my little cookout. And we've got uh, lots of evergreens here. Um, I'm gonna cut some of these boughs down and just put them on the ground to give myself a nice dry seat. I'm gonna set up a little area and get my stove going and, and cook up some rabbit. And this is actually pretty much exactly the place where I got where I helped get my, my first ever rabbit, I was actually the kind of the dog and I flushed the rabbit out um, and my buddy shot it. I'll throw on a vest right now just to make sure I keep warm. Got a nice ultralight backpacking stove. Small cast iron pan. Some cooking oil and a flask here.
So we've got one of the front legs of the rabbit. I'm going to be having the, uh, the rear legs for dinner. We've also got the heart in this little container. I've got some pancake mix with a bit of salt. It's going to be our batter. And actually while that's cooking, I'm gonna do a little patrol around and and uh, see if I can and flush a rabbit since there's, looks like there's lots of tracks around here and it'll keep me warm moving around while I'm waiting for this to cook for about 15 minutes this should take. So um, we'll come back and flip it in about seven or eight minutes. All right, perfect. Looks like it's cooking slowly. Looks like our heart is done. Should be uh, like a medium rare. Mm. Heart is the best. It is the best, no matter what the game is. Heart typically tastes like heart. It's super good. All right, yeah. This, uh, this chicken's cooking good. Not too fast, not too slow. Let's make sure it's good and cooked through and not overcooked. Like I say, about 15 minutes is usually what something like this will take in the, in the cast iron. And it's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm gonna do one more circle patrol over that way. I did a loop around this way and a loop around that way. And uh, well, when we come back, it should be just about done. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Cut into it a bit. Just, uh, yeah, it's just about cooked. We'll give it a couple more minutes. That should be good. Okay, time to dig into uh, the front leg of our rabbit that we got yesterday. Should be uh, cooked to perfection. And it's gonna taste a lot like, like deep fried chicken. Still pretty hot. Man, that's good. That was so good. Just like chicken wings. I mean, so good. Unbelievable. <laughs> 